All right, y'all. Time for an upgrade video. I think it's time. Several people have asked about it. And this is what I've done to my 2008 Honda Ridgeline thus far. All right, guys, the time has come. You like that dent right there? Yeah, that's character. The time has come. I'm gonna be going over the upgrades that I've made to my 2008 Honda Ridgeline. A lot of you guys have been asking about it. So, if you know anyone that wants to upgrade their Ridgeline, send them this video. Share it, like it, right? Subscribe so you get notifications when I post more videos. All right, guys, let's hop into it and I'll go over that with you. This is what I've done thus far. Added a light bar. k and air filter. A functional snorkel. Right through there, I did have to cut this, all right? And then I do have a video on how to install that. Flat out suspension. Also, coupled with the HRG three inch ultimate lift kit with a subframe drop kit. Got oversized tires, 285, 70, 17. Right now I got the Patagonia Milestars, which have not let me down at all been prime I also have Jeep wheels which require an inch and a quarter adapter is what I had and these rims are offset by negative uh, six and they're Jeep wheels so I had to have that adapter on there let's make our way around I added a hitch I didn't have one before for some reason but I added a hitch, just got it off of eTrailer.com. We got a hitch and then I got that ball from Walmart, right, a little drop there. Perfect. Right on. <laughs> All right, spare tire in the back. Yeah. Not much has been done, actually. Skid plate. It's from Race Skids. I put in a, an additional tranny cooler on there. Right, right back there, that black thing. Um, I did put that additional cooler on there as well as uh, a fan. for An auxiliary fan that I have on a switch that's inside. I also have, oh, better, I can see it better from this side. Flowmaster Super 44 exhaust with a drop pipe. And there you have it, folks. Not much has actually been done to this truck. Um, I think... It's very deceptive to people because there is a lift and bigger tires on it and a snorkel. These vehicles are very, very capable machines. And the best thing about it, and the best thing about it is that it's virtually stock. Just lift and bigger tires and then snorkel and you'd be able to do everything I've been doing in my videos. Don't be afraid to 
make adjustments to your vehicle. It rides the same. I like with the flat out suspension. I think it rides better, at, at least for what I'm trying to do. It rides significantly better than the stock struts. Um, that being said, these are these are very very capable machines. Um, I did end up cutting my wheel wells. I do have a video on that as well, but I did cut the front wheel wells uh, to fit these tires when I'm turning and whatnot. I do have videos for everything that I've done to this. That way you can uh, do it yourself if you would like. If you want your rig to be set up similar to mine, obviously make adjustments for the way that you drive or wheel or the way you want it to look. Um, some people want, you know, bigger rims, less sidewall. For the kind of off-roading and overlanding and uh, things that I do, this is a, a, like almost a perfect setup for me. It gives enough protection to the rim. Also, when you air down, uh, it gives enough. There's still enough sidewall to protect the rim and, and still be able to grip. Um, I think it looks good with the spacers on there because then the tires end up sticking out a little bit, as you can see. All right, you also see those in my videos. Um, yeah, guys, help! I hope this is helpful. Um, shorter video. You can go back and look at how I installed all those things. The Flowmaster exhaust I had installed. I just clamped on there temporarily, and then obviously uh, had it welded on. So I did not weld it. I don't have a video for that one. Other than that, I have a video for all the installations and all the upgrades I did on Renegade, my rig. Hopefully, you guys, enjoy the video. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, pass this video along if it's helpful or anything that you see man a lot of bugs <laughs> anything you see uh, on my channel about what I've installed on this thus far uh, be sure to send it to the to your folks or or people that want to do something similar to their rigs that I've done appreciate it guys appreciate the support hopefully we'll be able to wheel with you one day and we'll talk to y'all later we'll see you Guys, I almost forgot. These stickers, the mall rated sticker, the Hanura sticker, you know, all these stickers that I have on here, I mean, they've probably added 100 horsepower. Remember? We, you got to remember, I went over that, you know, in one of my previous videos, I went over that. So make sure you're adding stickers, okay? They, they will boost your power.